the fact that we are here today, Home Secretary, Defence Secretary, and the uh, NDMA Civil Aviation, uh, is to uh, will give you a sense of our own coordination uh, in this regard. Now, today uh, we expect to have 13 military aircraft go into uh, Kathmandu. Uh, four of them are C-17s, uh, three of them are C-130s, uh, four of them are IL-76s, and two of them are AN-32s. Uh, in addition, we had some civil aircraft go in in the morning, two Air India aircraft and one jet uh, to uh, bring back uh, Indians who were stranded there. We had a bit of a break because, as you know, there were aftershocks uh, today in Kathmandu which closed the airport for some time but by evening, late evening we expect to have all 13 in. Now uh, what has gone into, what is and has gone into Kathmandu today are parts of uh, three army field hospitals, uh, uh, engineering task force, uh, a medical contingent uh, of uh, civilian medical doctors uh, along with uh, uh, two tons of uh, medical supplies which has been organized by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Uh, we've had three more NDRF teams. In terms of supplies, uh, there are 10 tons of uh, blankets and tents which have been lifted, uh, 50 tons of water which have been supplied by the railways, uh, and 22 tons of food material which have been contributed by uh, different states and uh, voluntary organizations. There are already six Mi-17 helicopters which moved this morning to Kathmandu. Uh, their, their operations are being coordinated. Our understanding is that they have already been active in rescuing and bringing uh, people who have been injured in the <coughs> earthquake. Uh, there are two more uh, ALHS, Army uh, ALHS and four more Mi-17s which are on standby. Rapid rescue and relief response to the situation in Nepal is our primary mission. 